All right, what's up, guys? We're back with another one here. It's a real quick one. Uh, you might have already seen it, but if you haven't, you know, we've been talking about it on stream. I figured let's make a YouTube video about this, too. But once again, for the hundredth time, Japan has put out an absolutely unhinged tier list. This time for Guilty Gear Strive, but it doesn't matter, right? They've been doing this for every game. I think I, I think the last tier list video was about Melty Blood and them being insane. I got no idea. But uh, the newest one, if you haven't seen it, I will share it with you after the subscribe button. Does that work? Does telling people to subscribe actually work? I don't know, but I'm going to keep going. But yes, here it is. If you have not seen it, it's made by a player named uh, uh, Geki Uma Dog. He's a he's a VTuber. as a dog. But the actual player is uh, Disa. I'm pretty sure it's Disa, if you know who he is. Disa is like a, a Arc Revo national qualifier for Blaze Blue. He's a nine god. He played Exert. He plays every fighting game at like a very, very high level. And he's also a tier enjoyer. Every game he plays, he's a tier enjoyer. So without any further ado, here is the list. It is not, it's not a troll. This is a serious list. This is not bait to get interactions, but dun dun dun. This is a list that has been causing some, some issues right here. And it doesn't look bad. Look, to me, it doesn't look that bad. But yeah, so God is chip. Chip's enough. The God. S. You got Eno Zato right here and Geo right there. Amazing. Look at all these mid, look at all these, these kind of mid-tier characters. So the big one, of course, you know, we have Nago, we have Ram right there. They're, they're down in S. And then look at this one. S minus though. Hold on. Jesus Christ. It's this one. That, that's, that's the big one right here. So Happy Chaos. Leo's down. I can't believe Leo's down there too, but Happy Chaos down there in S, S minus. So that's probably the biggest one, right? That's probably the biggest, the one that's been causing all the fires. You know, the, all the placements are kind of wild, but... That Happy Chaos and S- minus has been causing fires because this is not the first time it's happened. Japan has had Happy Chaos pretty low. You know, America, I think, has him in number one. It's always top three, but a lot of people put him in number one. He's definitely the least fun character to fight, but there's been multiple Japan tier lists that have been, like, mid-tier. Mid-tier. This is probably his lowest placement. Is he is he bad? Is he really S-? minus? I don't, I don't I don't agree with that, but what I want to say about this list and what I want to say about every every tier list that Japan makes, right, regardless of the game, is they go by tournament results. So they go by results, right? You know, I, I think that's that's kind of like normal and everything. You know, every country is going to go by the characters that are strong in your region. But Japan always goes by the results and they go by characters that are well-rounded. So Happy Cast is godlike, right? Happy Cast is a godlike character, but he's a bit more, I guess specialized kind of like once he gets steamrolling is really good kind of once he goes you know if he gets set up correctly he's got curse full screen zoning he's really really good compared to chip runs at you and just presses a button and murders you so if you saw what was the last big tournament arc rebel japan right arc rebel japan was ty who plays chip and geo two very plain characters if you're a chip player you might be like shut up juna chip is super technical you know he's super tricky he's got all this crazy stuff Watch TY's chip. That was the most boring chip I've ever seen, ever. That was the most boring chip play of all time, but it was insanely effective. Not yet. Yeah, he plays chip like Jesus. I think it's a great way to put it. Just stays on the ground, uses mobility, uses the normals. There's no combo. The combo is like kick S, Rekka, and then in the super, in the wall break, knockdown, and just do it again. Just completely outfootses you, completely like outplays you right there. Super, super clean play. So, I wonder. So the big talk right now, which I'm very, very, very excited for, is Evo Japan. I don't know if Umi Show is coming out. I, actually, I can't even ask anymore. There's so many. But I guess Umi Show, we'll just use Umi Show as an example of like the happy chaos. And that's Evo Champ still murdering everybody with that character. Like, are they coming out? Will the happy chaos representatives be here? Also, I want Ram. I want Ram to show up as well and do try and do work we'll see because these characters do exist in japan as i mentioned this list has a lot of results kind of based on it but like ram doesn't do work out here happy chaos doesn't do work out here naga does some work out here i guess that's why they have him kind of high here but it, it, it's pretty crazy i think the only thing people agree on is fouls is the poor fouls at the bottom and sins down there too he kind of stings but yeah i just wanted to share like i said i just wanted to share that if you haven't seen it and i, I made a tweet about it joking but also like kind of seriously is like look something that's fun about not only international competition, like back in the day, it used to be about we're the best region. You know, East Coast is better than West Coast. We're going to prove it at EVO this year. Or like, you know what? Japan thinks they're the best. Korea is actually nasty. We're going to prove it at this tournament. Now, the hype is we're going to show which character is the best. It's not about the region. It's about the character. Who is the actual god tier? Who's actually the best character up here? And again, if we go by results, I think there's, there's a lot of these results based off of uh, Arc Rebel. That's the only big tournament we've had out here. We shall see. So if you disagree with this list, 
I know some players like Hotashi do. Come out. Evo Japan is in three months. Come out. Ticket might be expensive. The flight might be expensive, but the yen is super cheap. Yoshinoya is like $3, $4. You can breakfast, lunch, and dinner at Yoshinoya, man. It's crazy. You can a strong zero. They sell alcohol like this right here. Dollar fifty for a tall can. It's insane. But yeah, let me know what you think. What what is the wildest placement on here? Is Japan crazy or is America or is America just kind of uh is America, America overhyping some characters they can't be? They're gonna get exposed. I, I, I can't wait, man. I can't wait to see. But anyway, let me know what you think. Leave a comment with the good stuff. If you got a crappy tier list, link it up. We'll look at that one next. But yeah, I'll see you next one. Peace.